Hello everyone. Today, uh, this is a, um, a demonstration video on how to do a technique that I, uh, started implementing for a lot of, uh, the glitch Pokemon that were unobtainable except through either trade or were simply only glitch trainers Pokemon that you could not capture through something called, that I specifically call, Template Fusion. Okay, because you see, Pokemon templates can be uh, combined in a way um, by use of good timing with the Game Shark codes of uh, the glitch Pokemon. For example, I'll just show you with one of my specific favorites. There's a glitch called 4-4 uh, in the Mew glitch, whose decimal is 191. Uh, for the special stat required to find it, but while finding its true form, you'd be unable to catch it because the game would just instantly freeze the moment you went to battle. But with proper timing, you can actually get it to fight you. And I'll show you how in just a second. Okay, so first, begin by walking around in a grass patch. Now, because you, um, froze the game by uh, clicking on the cheat menu go to cheat list click on 4-4 four, four. it's hex value now once you hit OK you'll be thrust into a battle now notice the game thinks you found a Pidgey but you're actually finding 4-4 um, four, four. This is how you're able to fight, um... This is how you're able to fight Pokémon like this. I combined the Pidgey template with that of 4-4. 4-4 was masked by Pidgey. So then the game wouldn't freeze. I've already caught one of these before, but, yeah. Just to show you. See? Now you don't have to go through all the hassle of trading and all that. If you have a Visual Boy Advance ROM, you can easily do this. Whirlwind, Blizzard, Blizzard, and Meditate. See? It works. Now for fun, let's just try it on another um, glitch that normally would require a glitch trainer sending out a Pokémon. instance instead of that let's try oh uh, yeah these are glitch names uh, for all the other different glitch Pokemon I've ever tried so see what's a good one all these encounter uh, people are uh, glitch trainers that send out glitched Pokemon so um, I think Brock had a really powerful Pokemon. Yeah. Was... Was this one, right here. R. It's number 234. So, I'm gonna try finding this. Alright, see? Once the battle begins, which is what's happening right now, the game's trying to thrust you into a battle. Um, by using template fusion, you're basically um, taking the original battle data that you were gonna like go into battle with, for instance, like if you're gonna find a Radad or a Pidgey, the Pidgey is used as the base model for allowing the glitch Pokemon to fill its place. So, essentially what you're doing is switching out Pokemon data with the one that you want. So here is Brock's. He is a glitch trainer that sends out, um, I think it was a level 250 glitch Pokemon of the name that I have right here, R. So, now, instead of finding Brock, you find a pink Pidgey. Pidgey's the base model, but what you're really finding is the Pokemon data for R. Because that's the glitch Pokemon Brock sends out. So through Template Fusion, I'm essentially able to encounter even glitch Pokemon that are otherwise only 
uh, found through trainers, uh, and you can capture them by using a wild Pokemon template. And this allows you to capture otherwise unobtainable glitch Pokemon, some of which are extremely strong. Now this is Brock's level 250 Pokemon at level 3, because that was the Pidgey model I used. Yeah, this is a musical glitch. You now it's Headbutt, Amnesia, and Rest. If I'm not mistaken, I think 143 is a Snorlax. So this is a hybrid of Snorlax. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Now, just for fun, I'll do one more. One of my other favorites that I like to do. So just remember, you can do this at any time. Even with, fe even with Pokemon that already exist, that you can easily capture, you can even fuse them with other Pokemon. Like XX, I could fuse with another wild Pokemon, but really wouldn't make a difference because I'd still have to capture it twice. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, I was going to do Sabrina's, which is a, another Charizard hybrid. As long as you don't let the screen go black, you're able to fill in the Pokemon template of your desire. So now I'm going to go to Sabrina. Fill hers in. To the Pokemon I'm about to find. Another Pidgey. So notice it's red. This was her glitch Charizard's name, I. And you're able to capture it by fusing it with the Pidgey. Now well, Pidgey's become a good model. I've already captured one of these two. Now I suppose you could always uh capture you could always capture them by using the uh, catch trainers Pokemon glitch, but for some that are unobtainable, like 4-4, you're going to have to fuse Pokemon templates. Yep, another Charizard hybrid. This one knows the same stuff that glitchy symbols or the Mew trick number 199 a glitch Pokemon has starting out. So yeah. Pretty much how you do it.